Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I thought I'd explain all about the media calendar and the media manager in Soundbox. I've had a few requests to show this in simple terms, so let's get going. Okay, let's open Soundbox. I have my monitors set to over 100% scaling just so it's clearer for you guys, but um, normally you wouldn't do that, that's what that error message is about. Um, in the media section, as you can see here, there's only one file and there are two ways of viewing these files, you may think. This button here opens the media calendar. Now the misconception for this is that this is used for viewing your files and then playing them back. And yes, it can be used that way, but that's not what it's been designed for. This has been designed for managing your files. Now if I untick that and click folder, it will open the video folder of Soundbox. And as you can see here, it's empty. There's nothing there. And yet, there is a file there. That is because Soundbox uses the calendar to determine what files, whether it be videos, websites, PDFs, images, etc., that you need for that week. Now it determines that by the the day of the week and the date. So the date for what files to show you and the day of the week, whether it be me, uh, midweek or weekend. And like I say, if we click folder, there's nothing there. That's because this file, this cell phones file, which is in the midweek meeting this week, if I click calendar and then click calendar folder for this week, you will see there's a few things there, there's a load of images, but because we're in the video section, the only video this week is this one. So I had to work that out because of course all it shows here is the, um, the, the original file name, but it's about cell phones. And now if I go to keep that open but go to images and folder there you see all the images that are here now I'm in calendar view at the moment but if I turn off calendar view those images and that video are still there because it knows which ones to show you based on the week that we're in it is not designed for using it that way because the danger of using it that way is you might select the wrong week and the, the brother on the sound desk may not realize he's on the wrong week and will bring up the wrong videos or images. So you turn that off and it automatically selects the videos and images that you need for that week. So great. Now as you can see here there's lots of things here and a video there. Where has it got that from? And that is the media manager's responsibility. So if I open, go scroll down here, and open the Soundbox Media Service Manager, click yes, it can open behind Soundbox for some reason. And as you can see here, this is a very simple program. This sets up the service and as it says here, it displays all the subscriptions on this PC for all users. You can delete subscriptions from here, but you must add subscriptions within the Soundbox option. So this is just the managing application that does the job in the background, and it just shows you which ones you've subscribed to. I subscribe to the English All Media subscription because I'm English and I want all the media, and it's just gives you an indication that it's active. If it was downloading, it would tell you what it was downloading in this window. But you can't really do much with this. This is just the service that runs in the background and grabs all the files for you. To subscribe yourself to different subscriptions, that is done within the Soundbox application. You go to Options, and here we are, Media Subscriptions. And it knows we're running in English because I've got Windows set to run in English. So it shows me all the feeds available for the English speaking, um, all managed by a brother um, on our team. So you've got all media, which is 
videos and images but you can subscribe to just the videos or just the images and it tells it gives you a little indication here of what's going on as well I've got 137 files downloaded and I'm up to date all the way up to the end of December this year which is great it's all done for me for the rest of the year so that's that's what that does that's the media manager it grabs the files for you if you were running soundbox in another language so let's set that up just briefly um, there's an easier way of doing this but just just for simplicity's sake let's just run it in Spanish it needs to download the songs so I'll just do that for me okay so that's almost done let that just finish and now I'll open this one and as you can see it's all in Spanish same error there so I'll have to fumble my way through it's obvious which one's the media though fortunately now there's nothing here because now I'm in Spanish and the media calendar is separated for different languages so if I turn on media calendar view and open the media calendar folder which is this button here you'll see I'm in media calendar but I'm in the Spanish section of the media calendar which is empty at the moment so if I wanted to subscribe to a Spanish feed that automatically populates this calendar I would go to options and this button here which is the multimedia subscriptions in Spanish and it'll now give me options of Spanish feeds you've got all media just videos just images and if I click let's just do all images because it's quicker and click OK off it goes you can't really see what's happening but let's click it again and this time you'll see there we go as it's sorting itself out it's telling you what it's doing it's downloading 125 files up to the end of December just like the English feed was um, but because they're images they won't take as long as having the videos as well so let's just let that finish right so that's done click OK now if I go to media and go to images turn off calendar view but go to images you'll see all the images that were there for the English feed but now they're the Spanish ones they're actually the same images for the Spanish so there you go I'm not in calendar view and if I click this button here to open the folder of the normal images folder you'll see it's empty but if I go to the calendar view and then click the calendar folder button there those images are that the media service manager downloaded and automatically named so it would be color coded and that was explained in my previous video about adding your own files so this may explain the calendar a bit better for you we get a lot of we've had a lot of people in the past asking can we have it set to open calendar view by default no as again I'll explain the reason why is that it's not designed to be used for displaying the images the media calendar mode is for using is for organizing your files so for placing your videos and images ready for a particular week so you'd scroll to a particular week if you know that week the the brother needs a picture you know some brothers are um, ready a couple of weeks before when they know they've got a talk coming up they'll give you an image ready and you can place it in in the calendar on that week and it's all done and then you come out the calendar and then that weekend or that week it will automatically be in here if you just put it in this folder it will always appear in here until you click it until you delete that file so that's what the calendar is for it's not designed for viewing it's designed for organizing your files and the, ma the calendar manager the media service manager rather auto populates the media calendar ready for you based on the language you set up and the subscription that you have subscribed to in here and the separate application the media service manager is the program in the background of your computer that automatically grabs these files for you it runs separately to soundbox itself 
and grabs the files whenever it can, whenever it finds an internet connection, even if Soundbox is not open, which is great. It saves you so much time. But if the subscription is not available in your language, then you would use the media calendar mode manually yourself. I hope that clears everything up for you. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me here on as a comment on this video or go to the help desk and ask a question there. Uh, I'd appreciate a like for the video because it helps me determine whether you actually want these videos put up. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you next video. Thanks very much.